people, including three kids, rushed to a hospital for carbon monoxide poisoning at a home in the Cypress Hill section of Brooklyn. The father of the kids speaking to us tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang live at the scene. Lucy. And Bill, three little children and two adults were rushed to the hospital today. Officials point to alarming levels of carbon monoxide inside the home behind me. We want to show you a photo of the children ages three, one, and a baby rescued from 155 Nichols Avenue in the Cypress Hills section of Brooklyn. Earlier this afternoon, emergency crews raced five victims to Jamaica Hospital. Some of them were unconscious. The good news, they are all expected to survive. Help arrived just in time. The troubling issue is just how high the CO levels were in the house. According to fire officials, it got up to 300 parts per million on the top floors. Normally, the reading in your home should be 5 to 15 parts per million, so 300 is exponentially above safe levels. Here's the father of the children. My wife called me and said that something happened to my kids. I came and they were in serious condition. I called an ambulance to take the kids to the hospital. One moment I'm just standing here, you know, enjoying the weather, but I guess the sun is out. And then next thing you know, just like, like probably like four fire trucks, you know, like probably like four police cars as well come out of nowhere. And they just like, they're just coming and surrounding the, the family and, you know, just taking, just taking the, the daughters and, you know, seeing if, if they're both okay, you know, just wait, just, tap, just tapping on them, you know, checking for pulse. According to the neighbor, the family suspected a leak in the basement and the grandfather went downstairs to troubleshoot. The chil two, chil two children were listed in serious condition, but all are expected to survive after being overcome by carbon monoxide poisoning. Officials have since been airing out the house. We are trying to find out if there were any carbon monoxide detectors in the home.